Uh, my name is Ryan Sposito. I'm the uh, owner and brewer at the Global Week Brewing Company in Ashby, Ohio, located on 13 Wade Bridge Street, Ashby, Ohio. I came home from college after I graduated and my brother was sick with cancer. He was running the coffee shop, Harbor Perk, and uh, I got invested in entrepreneurship there. I, I rubbed all the right shoulders to get where I needed to go and know the right people to make moves to have this place. And uh, I decided one day that I wanted to have my own place and I saw beer, it was, the industry was really growing and really booming. So, and I love craft beer myself. Uh, so I decided to make beer at home and Kelly, uh, my sister-in-law who now owns Harbor Park, she had my back the whole time and pushed me and helped me do it. Uh, thanks to Neo Fund and uh, 503 Corp, we got the loans we needed to make this possible. And uh, it's, it's run by four people. It's me, my girlfriend, my best friend, and uh, Taylor, which is great. So we have a tight atmosphere, but we, we're hardworking people and we have integrity for our product and we work really hard at what we do. have five beers that we carry that you call flagships. We have a Kolsch, it's called Like an Ever Flowing Kolsch. It's a nice, straightforward German ale, delicious, approachable for everybody, especially domestic drinkers. Uh, we carry a Saison called Paradise Lost. Uh, we tend to alter the fruit flavorings to it, but usually it's just a citrus. So we like to stick with grapefruit, tangelo, clementine, uh, something citrusy and nice to add to the pepper flavor that we use from the grains of paradise in the beer. Uh, and it's nice and dry like champagne. We also carry a couple IPAs. Uh, we have the Pacific Express Series, which is named after the railroad accident in the uh, early 1900s, Ashtabula. Uh, the engines of the train were named Socrates and Columbia. So we have our double IPA, uh, Socrates, which is 10%. Uh, it's hopped seven different ways. Uh, we hit it with the mash hop, first wart, 60 minute, 30 flavor hops. We do a whirlpool and we also dry hop. So it's not bitter though. We make sure that all the hop additions are added to give it the, just enough punch so it's not overpowering, but nice and juicy and balanced in bitterness. Uh, we also have our Columbia American Pale Ale, which is uh, now it's like a hazy beer. So we've been doing uh, firm hops to it. Uh, right now it's a, it's a Cascade Cashmere uh, hopped beer. We also have our Sailing Goat, which is very popular. Um, we did a beer fest in Venner and everybody was coming over for that beer specifically. Uh, and that's a coffee milk stout um, with sea salt and chocolate. So kind of imitating Marianne's sea salt chocolate bark, but also the coffee I roast from the Harvard Bird goes in it as well. So I think those are all our flagships. And then we change our, our seasonal beers quarterly. And I have seven seasonal beers. So we like to experiment as much as possible as brewers. Um, and collecting the perfect amount of intel from the people we know networking in the Cleveland breweries. So we take all that gathered stuff, all of our research, everything, and we're, we're pretty confident we don't test batch. We make every beer and we're pretty confident as professionals that we can make a product turn out good and taste delicious.